and grow YouTube show. The sport hunting guide. It's kind of one of the big things you're known for is you have made <laughs> hunting for variegated monsteras, like the sport, but also mm -hmm. a sport uh, going into, I can't wait to go into a big box store now that I've read your PDF. Mm -hmm. um, walk, walk us through that. Cause talk about curiosity. I mean, you went down a rabbit hole of, yeah. of exploring variegation and figuring out how to make it accessible. Yeah. So I do have this like dialogue with myself. I go back and forth on, on the accessibility of plants and um, what made me want to make a sport hunting guide. You know, when I first started sharing oh, my very, yes. Can we stop for a minute? Can you, um, can you explain what a sport is for people yeah. who might not understand what we're talking about? So a sport is a sudden and spontaneous mutation in a plant. Um, there's a lot of examples of sports that we um, surround ourselves with every day, like um, uh, nectarines, one of my favorites. A nectarine is a sport of a peach. It's just a hairless peach. And the story goes, thousands of years ago, a Chinese farmer um, was growing peaches, and they noticed that one branch on their peach tree was producing hairless peaches. So they cut it, grafted it, and made an entire tree of hairless peaches and kept grafting it and made an entire crop of hairless peaches. So that's a sport. Thornless blackberries. Someone in California was growing blackberries and noticed one of the bushes didn't have thorns, which is great for like a plant that you have to reach your hand into and pick the fruit. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so that's a, a sport's just a sudden mutation that okay. you can isolate and make into a stable brand new plant if you like. Mm -hmm. Great. So, and a variegated monstera is a sport. So when you're yeah. talking about this sport guide, that's what we're referring to. Not like soccer. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just for those listening who might be confused. So anyway, back to your story. <laughs> yeah. So um, I had noticed that there was a lot of greed and a lot of really shady behavior in the plant community when it was, when it was coming to like variegated tropicals and it's mm -hmm. still ongoing. I even had someone steal one from me. Um, I would put my plants in like our in the science store in Tulsa, and I would overhear people talk about how they just could steal a cutting and like grow the whole plant themselves. And I got so frustrated with this because there was this narrative that these plants are rare, they're expensive. People were paying absurd prices. People were calling these plants investments. Like it was like some kind of cryptocurrency or something. <laughs> yeah. And it was just really cringy. And I sat here and I thought, my variegated sport that like someone was willing to steal from me people were willing to steal people were being really like you know th like just ooing and awing over it and i'm like i found this at my local nursery on accident like this variegated monstera started as a single leaf mutation i bought the whole plant for like 15 or 20 dollars and one stem was variegated and i thought this is cool i'm gonna do my experimenting thing. I'm going to cut it and see if I can't isolate it. And I isolated it and I've made third, I've made probably 70 cuttings from this, which is mind blowing to a lot of people who are like, got so many variegated monstera. And I'm like, but I paid like $20 for it a few years ago. Right. And I, I hear all these people say, I can't afford a variegated monstera. And I'm like, you can, you can, you got, you but you got to work for it. <laughs> yeah. You, you can't afford, yeah. Maybe you can't afford like one on Etsy or one on eBay for thousands of dollars. But I'm going to write a guide for you that walks you through every step I take, like the same steps I use when I walk into Home Depot and I look through all their Monstera. I have a specific protocol I use, and I have found dozens and dozens of these through this. I thought this needs to be made accessible. So I made this guide for free, um, and I've, I have a whole Discord. I have a Monstera sport database um, that I, and people, I've helped like, hundreds of people find variegated monstera at wholesale prices that are in my opinion cooler and more unique than the ones that have been propagated for dozens of years yeah i mean the the level of detail in this guide too you actually literally have photos of if the variegation looks like this and is located in this aspect of the leaf then get that but if it looks like this don't get that because it's probably mm -hmm. just some sort of infection like you really break it down. to the point where i'm literally like i because i'm in florida i'm in i'm in tropical set plant central yep. so i'm like god i gotta go hit up all the big box stores locally yeah. because there's a high chance that i'll probably find something down here and i even talk about the odds like um you know i've noticed that in these big pots of monstera they'll put like 
15 seedlings in a pot. Mm -hmm. And if you have a whole table of them, if you have 200 Monstera, I've kind of figured it out and it's not guaranteed, but if you have 200 Monstera, that's, you have a really good chance that at least one of those is a sport. One of them has a mutation that is a phenotype that you can see like variegation or twisty leaves. Um, I've seen some cool sports that aren't variegation, but they're actually the leaf shape that is mutated. Mm -hmm. Um, So I would say, yeah, while you're in Florida, I'll get your butt in some plant stores. Do, 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 do